Okay, so today I have the last of my empties videos for you. This is part three of my year-long empties. I started with just stuff I was throwing away or stuff that didn't work for me. Then I went on to sample empties, and now I'm just doing my full-size empties. There are a few samples in here that I finished since my last samples empties video, so I just tossed them in instead of starting a whole new pile. So, And this is going to be extremely long. I've got this entire bag full of stuff and then I've got a, another bag that's sort of like half full because it's like overflow. So I've got a lot of stuff to get through. I'm going to try to do it as fast as I can but still giving a description because I do want to talk about this stuff more than I talked about some of the other stuff that I talked about. So hopefully it's not too long. Just to start off, I'll start with the three things that aren't empty right now but they will be empty by the time this video goes up. The first thing I've got is my Skin Renaissance Rejuvenating Facial Oil. This is the sample I got in the Bare Bliss box. There is like one, one use left in here. Um, I really like this oil. I actually have bought the full size, so I've got that waiting for me once I do finish this. I really like it. It smells really good. My skin really likes it. It doesn't break out, and it actually seems to help calm some like redness and acne and stuff like that that I got going on. So. I really love this oil and I do recommend um, if you're new to facial oils or you haven't found a facial oil that works for your skin to definitely try this one out because I do really like it. So <clears throat> this will be empty by the time I post this because it's got like one or two uses left in it but um, I do love this oil. The next is this Thayer's Alcohol Free Toner Wo Rose Petal Witch Hazel with Aloe Vera Formula. Um, this again too, there's only a couple uses left in here. Not very many but it'll be empty by the time I post this. I love the Thayer's Witch Hazel toners. Um, I've gone through another one, which you'll see another empty that I went through before this one. But I love this toner. Um, I've got another one on backup, which is the cucumber scent. Um, which is the cucumber scent, and I really like this. I haven't used any other Witch Hazel toners before. Um, I don't know that I'll branch out anytime soon because I do really like the Thayer's. And I especially like the alcohol free one. The other one that I tried wasn't alcohol free, but I like the alcohol free version better. So I really like this toner a lot. And the last non-MD empty is the George's um, Always Active Aloe Spray Mister. This is actually still is full. This is the original bottle that I bought. I went through an entire bottle and then I bought the refill at my Sprouts. They sell like the 32 ounce refill of just the aloe. So I bought that and then I filled it halfway and then I used it halfway again and now I just filled it all the way to the top. So I've used one and a half bottles of spray mister so probably about 12 in 12 ounces of the aloe um i can't be without this stuff i spray it on my face at least three or four times a day i love it it's very refreshing and just my skin really loves the aloe it helps with irritation and definitely if you've got like sunburns or sensitive skin or anything like that just spray some aloe on it and it definitely helps it feel a lot better so i will always use this Alcohol or the I will always use this aloe spray now that I've discovered it So this is definitely my favorite one of my favorite products I've tried to break this up into categories. So I'm gonna start with things that I consider more like home Stuff first. Um, I've got two different hand washes I've got the Myers clean day lavender scent liquid hand soap and then I've got the south of France natural body care Mediterranean fig hand wash I had been using the Myers hand soap for a really long time, um, but once I looked at the ingredients again after I went natural, it's not as natural as I would like it to be. So once I was finished with this one in my, because I, I leave this one in my bathroom, I've got hand wash soaps everywhere, but this one was in my bathroom specifically. Um, once I finished with that one, I went at my local, hey, at my local Sprouts, I went looking for a different hand wash and I found the South of France Mediterranean Fig one. And this one has a lot more natural ingredients. It's filtered water, coconut oil, olive oil, natural vegetable glycerin, cellulose, blends of natural and essential oils and fragrance, citrusastic, citric acid, vitamin A, and aloe leaf extract. That's all it is. This one has more like chemicals and fragrance and preservatives and things. And I don't think the hand wash needs that because I actually like this one a lot better it cleans my hands really well. It doesn't leave them feeling dry or greasy because it's got a lot of um, moisturizing ingredients in it. This one could leave my hands, tended to leave my hands pretty dry. So I am 
there's one or two more of these in my house somewhere. There's one in my kitchen, I think, and one in my bathroom, but once those are gone, they're going to be replaced with other hand washes, either of this brand or another brand that's more natural as well, because I like trying out different hand washes too. I've tried the Kiss My Face hand wash, and I do like that one. So I have bought, I've got two more of these. I just started another one because I just finished this one. But I, the Mediterranean Fig one was my favorite scent. I smelled them all, and this one was the one that I liked the best, so... Um, I have two of these. This actually took me a really long time to use. Just me by myself, this took me about six months to go through an eight ounce bottle of hand wash. So this lasts a really long time. So the two that I've got um, in my cupboard will actually last me another year. So I do recommend the South of France hand wash. Um, I've also got a trial size or a smaller size of the Dr. Bronner's Magic Soap in Lavender. I use this for a variety of things. Um, I think probably I use this one to clean out like my cat's litter boxes and to wash my cats if I ever needed to. Um, I've got like this weird sort of like gelatinous mass sitting at the bottom. Um, so it's it's completely like gelled up. I don't know what happened to it, but I use this. Um, I love the Dr. Bronner soap. I buy, I use it for washing my brushes. I use it for cleaning things. Like I just use it for everything. So I've, I've rebought a big size and a small size of the Dr. Bronner soap. So then I've just got some candles that I was trying to use up that weren't soy or natural or whatever that I've had sitting around. So this first one I've got is the Tindra candle. This is actually from Ikea. I've I had this for a really long time and never burned it. And then about a month ago I decided I was just going to burn it and get rid of it because I don't particularly want to rebuy these or just have them sitting around. So I think this is like a berry scent. There's, there's like a picture of berries. Obviously... Nothing is like in English, so I have no idea really. So this is Tindra or Berry, I don't know. Um, this was nice. It didn't really put off that much of a smell, honestly. But it did burn for a pretty long time. It said it says on here it burns for about 30 hours, and that's probably um, pretty close to accurate. I did actually actually leave it on for probably about eight hours once or twice, so not on purpose. I just forgot about it. <laughs> but um. This was okay. I'm not going to rebuy these Ikea candles. They are pretty cheap. I think they're only like $3 or whatever, but yep. So there's an Ikea candle. And then I've also got this Slatkin and Company Frosted Cranberry Scented Candle. I can't remember where I bought this from. Um, I'm not... This might have been... I feel like I might have gotten this at like Bath and Body Works. I'm not really sure. I did like the scent of this, and actually reading the ingredients, it says it's an exclusive blend of vegetable wax and lead-free wick. Um, I do tend, I, I do prefer to burn soy, but I did like how long this burned for. This is a four-ounce candle, and it says it burns between 25 to 40 hours, and I definitely think that it lasted about that long, if not longer. There's another candle that I've burned that is a soy-based candle that did not burn nearly as long as the company claims, uh, which I, I'm working on a review on, so those will, you'll see those again, but I did really like this candle. I don't know, maybe I might look into them again if they're cruelty-free or vegan or whatever. I might try, but this one smelled really good. I had this one in my bathroom. I really like the smell of it. The frosted cranberry one was nice, so there's just another candle. And then I've also got this Mainstays Peach and Mango Candle. I know this one isn't natural or anything. Um, it's made in China. I don't know, made... The candle's made in China, but the lid is made in the U.S. That seems strange, but I know this isn't natural. It's not soy or anything. I think we got this at Walmart years ago, and we, I just finally got around to burning it, because we, we had a lot of unburned candles in our house, and I finally just was like, I'm just going to light them all and burn them all. So this was peach and mango. It smelled nice, but I'm not going to buy it again. And the last one I actually bought on iHerb. It's the Aroma Soy Veggie Pure um, Relaxing Lavender and Tangerine Candle. So this was my first soy candle that I bought because I was looking for soy candles. And I found this one on iHerb. This one says it burns approximately 15 hours and I felt like it burned probably about that long. Um, this says made in the US. 100% plant aromas, cotton wick, no lead, pure essential oils, and then it is a soy soy candle. I do like these. Um, I think it was probably about $5, and this one is a two... What is this? This is a 2.8 ounce, so it's a little smaller than the standard, like, 4 ounce um, candle. I probably would buy these again. I'm not in a rush to. 
but I did like it. I don't necessarily think it smells like lavender or tangerine necessarily. I'm not really sure what it smells like, but I don't know. It smells good. So that was my last candle. <sighs> so then I'll move on to just some teeth stuff. I don't have very much. Um, the first thing I've got is this ClinPro 5000. This is from 3M. Anti-cavity toothpaste. I bought this a long time ago. Um, my dentist recommended it because I've got super sensitive teeth. And then I, I bought this before I went natural. And then when I went natural, I decided I'm not going to be using the fluoride toothpaste anymore. So I, I, did, I spent this at the dentist's office cost $20. And I don't necessarily think it does anything. Like maybe my teeth are just extra sensitive. But my teeth didn't feel any different from when I started this from when I finished it. And I mean, it didn't do anything. So I'm not going to keep putting chemicals and poison into my mouth if it doesn't do anything, so. I'm not going to be buying that again. And then I've got two of the Desert Essence Tea Tree Oil Mouthwash, the naturally refreshing, sugar-free, alcohol-free essential oil of spearmint. My husband and I both use these. We really like them. These are the two that I've used up in the last couple of months. My husband has used up three, I think, of his own bottles, but I only saved the ones I used. Um, I really like this mouthwash. I've got another one that I'm using. I do think I want to try the Jason's mouthwash because I do like the Jason's toothpaste that I bought, so I might experiment with other mouthwashes. There's not very many natural ones that I, there are to try, so it's either like Desert Essence or Jason, so I might try some other ones, but I do like the Desert Essence mouthwash. So that was it for teeth care. So now I've got body care, which I also don't have very much of. Mostly what I've got is like skincare and makeup and stuff, so. First I've got the Dead Sea Minerals Grapefruit Guava, one with nature soap. I didn't save all of these soap bars I've went through because I think we've used like 10 in the last year, but I just saved one just, you know, so you could see it. Um, this is my favorite soap, the one with nature Dead Sea Minerals soap is my favorite. I've used a couple of other soaps. Um, I've used a lot of vegetable based soaps and this is the one that is moisturizing. It's got shea butter and um, argan oil and a lot of other moisturizing ingredients in it that's really good for my skin. I don't feel like my skin, <sighs> my skin isn't super dry when I get out of the shower when I use this so sometimes I don't even use a lotion but I do, this is my favorite soap and we are going to continue to buy this and not buy any other vegetable based soaps because I don't think there are any that I would like as much as this one so there's that. And I've also got one of the North Coast Organics deodorants, this is just the naked unscented one. I love this deodorant more than anything I've ever put under my armpits in my life. Um, I've got another full size of the Naked. I've got a full size of, the, of their Alsol one. They sent it to me as a giveaway prize. Then I've got a partial um, tube of their Death by Lavender mini size that I'm almost done with. Um, but I love this deodorant in any fragrance that it comes in. It just smells really good, so I love this deodorant. I've also got the Acure Coconut, Coconut and Pumpkin Ultra Hydrating Body Wash. I won this in a giveaway as well from the Acure website or from the Acure Facebook page or something. I did not like the smell at all. It does not smell like coconuts or pumpkin. It just smells funky and weird. I don't like it. I do like, I did like the body wash. I did feel that it was really hydrating, but I didn't like the smell. So I wouldn't buy this one specifically again because the smell, really? What are you doing? But um, as you may know, I have already bought a, another one of the Cell Simulating, which still smells more like almonds to me, but I really like that one. So I will buy other versions of the body wash, but not this one specifically. Then I've also got a, this was sort of like a mini size of the Bella, the Bella, Bella Pele. I don't know. We got, I got this in my very first um, Petit Vorbox. It's a super powered scrub. Can you not chew on my, computer, my camera? So this was just a jojoba bead scrub. This was a jojoba bead style scrub. Um, I liked it. It worked. It says that you can use it for face and body, but it was way too harsh to use on your face. So I used it just on my body and it made my skin really smooth when I used it. So I would Consider picking this up again. I would consider picking this up in the future um, if I 
don't find other body scrubs that I like more, but I'm pretty sure this is a little bit more expensive. And I do like the Deep Steep body scrub, which isn't as scrubby as this one is, but this one was nice. And I used the entire thing, so I might buy this at some point. So then I also got one of these Box Naturals Intimate Wipes. This is the lavender scent. I've got some rose and I've got some lavender. I like this. It doesn't burn my skin. It, you know, it feels nice. It, it does have phenoxyethanol in it for those of you that are avoiding that kind of thing, but these are a nice wipe. I wouldn't use them as a makeup remover wipes just because they're expensive, but I like these wipes and I'll probably pick them up when I could find them like on special or anything, but I'm not going to go out of my way to buy them just because they are, you know, pricey. What? So now I've got some hair care stuff. So I've got two sets of the Andalou Naturals Argan and Sweet Orange Shampoo and Conditioner Moisture Rich. I went through two bottles of shampoo and two bottles of conditioner. I did really like the shampoo and conditioner. It was really moisturizing and it I never really got used to the smell. I mean like it smells good, but Something about it is, you know, doesn't smell good to me. I don't know, I'm weird. But I'm not gonna be buying these anymore because the ingredients do contain honey. So I have started using the Acure Moisturizing Shampoo and Conditioner to see how I like them compared to these. I've only used them once, so I can't really say anything about them yet, but I did like these, so I'm kinda disappointed I can't use them anymore, but if you, if you're not concerned about honey's ingredient and you need moisture, moisture rich shampoo and conditioners um, I would give this one a try but I won't be buying it again so then I've also got the desert essence lemon tea tree shampoo and conditioner these are vegan and I do really like these these are for oily hair and I really like these these definitely are good when I haven't washed my hair for a few days or I've used an oil treatment in my hair or something like that um, these are really good at clarifying they get all the oils out of your hair that you don't want in your hair and it doesn't but it doesn't it doesn't necessarily strip your hair I, I don't know if I can if there's any way that I can explain it other than that but I really like these I've already bought backups of these they're in my shower right now and I will continue to buy these because these are probably my favorite desert essence shampoo and conditioners that I've tried so far and they work really well for my hair so I like these a lot I've also got one random conditioner this is the Alba Botanical Natural Hawaiian Conditioner Gloss Boss Honeydew for shiny, happy hair. I was using this before I started using those other ones that I just showed you, so I should have showed them first, but um, I used this when I would run out of my other conditioners. Like, I didn't use it all the way up until probably a couple of months ago. So when I would run out of one of my other conditioners, I would use this in its place until I started a new set. So this was okay. I used to use Alba shampoos and conditioners a lot before I went completely natural. These, these are good, they've got some good ingredients in them, but they're, they're not, you know... And I would recommend them to anybody who's like just starting out because they're a brand you could find in your natural stores. And they are, they are good shampoo and conditioners. I used to use the coconut one a lot, um, but this one smelled really good. The honeydew scent is my favorite of all the Alba shampoos and conditioners that I've tried, but... I really like this, but I just won't be buying... I don't think I'll be buying these anymore because I do like some other stuff that I've tried better. But I did like it. And lastly for hair care, I've got two of the Desert Essence Coconut Hair Defrizzer and Heat Protectors. I've been using these forever. I can't, I've, long before I went natural. I probably when I just started to be vegan, um, but I really like these. Um, they, they've got really good ingredients in them. They, they seem to do a good job defrizzing my hair before I dry it. I spray this on my hair every time I wash it right before I dry it. I don't necessarily use it as a heat protector. Like I don't spray it on my hair before, when it's dry, before I flat iron it or anything like that. Um, but I do spray it on my hair before I blow dry it. So I don't know how well it works with like a flat iron. Um, but I do really like these. I just started a brand new one because I just finished one. And I will, I might experiment with other leave-in conditioners or heat tamer sprays in the future after the one that I'm using finishes up. Um, but I do like these and I will continue to buy these. Okay, so I had to charge my camera a little bit, so continuing on. Um, I've got a bunch of acne spot treatment empties. I'm not going to talk about them because I'm going to do a separate video on all of these. But I went through the Desert Essence Eco Harvest Tea Tree Oil, Silk Naturals Lemon Wasabi Blemish Buster, Desert Essence Blemish Touch Stick. I actually went through two of these, but I threw the first one away because it was before I was blogging and saving things. 
Simpler's Botanical Acne Aid. I've got two of these CL Clear, Kelp Clear Blemish Sticks. The B Naturals Blemish Lotion, and then the MyShell Dermaceuticals Clear Skin Spot Treatment. So I'm probably going to be filming that in the next couple of days. So that should go up, I don't know, roughly in a week or two. So I've got all of these spot treatments. I've been waiting till I finished the MyShell one before I did that. So um, Acne um, Natural Cruelty Free Acne Treatment Spot Treatment video coming soon. So then, I was gonna do my makeup last, but I've got it sitting in a pile here and there's not that much stuff, so. I'll start with something I'm not going to be rebuying, the Bare Minerals Primetime Original Tint. Um, I was only using Bare Minerals makeup for like eight years before I went natural, and um, just, like, yeah, natural. And I was using the Primetime, this is just a silicone-based primer. I didn't necessarily even feel like this did that much for me, but I didn't know that there were other things out there that I could try, so I just kept using this. So once I finished this, um, I will, I didn't re I finished this a long, long, long time ago, like a year ago now, um, but I'm not going to be rebuying anything Bare Minerals, especially because they're not technically cruelty free either because they're owned by third party. Um, I've also, so then after that one, to I tried... I bought the 100% Pure Luminous Primer. I didn't really like this one either. I didn't feel like this one did anything to my face either. I mean, it's got amazing ingredients in it, but I didn't feel like it helped my makeup, my makeup stay on my face any longer. I actually even feel like, because my skin is so oily, it just sort of like counteracted the oil and then it just got like to be a big mess like here. Since I started using the Mineral Fusion Untinted BB Cream, that has been an actual makeup primer for me. If my makeup stays, um, no matter what foundation I'm wearing. So I'm not going to be buying this one again either, especially because it's expensive. It's $28. It did last me like six months, but it didn't do anything, so I'm not going to be rebuying it. So then this isn't technically makeup, but it's um, the Badger Damascus Rose Antioxidant Face Sunscreen. I really, really like this sunscreen. It's only SPS 16, but considering I used it in the winter and I didn't leave the house much, um, I, it wasn't that big a deal for me. I haven't had a sunburn in God knows how long. So I really liked the sunscreen. Unfortunately, this um, formula, oh, it doesn't. Aloe, soybean, water, soup. For some reason, I thought this, this formula had beeswax in it, but it doesn't. So I know that they're reformulating this sunscreen and it's gonna actually, it's not gonna be in this pump anymore. I hated this bottle because there's probably at least three or four applications of sunscreen still left in the bottle, but I just can't get it out. I know I can get one of those like beauty spatula things. I just haven't yet. So um, I know that they've reformulated it and they're, I think they're gonna be releasing it early next year where it's actually in a tube. So since I thought this had beeswax for some reason, but since it doesn't, I'm actually going to look into rebuying this when the new formulation comes out. Hopefully that doesn't have beeswax. I th maybe, maybe it's another one of their sunscreens has beeswax in it or something. I thought something, I thought their sunscreen had beeswax. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy, but I really, really, really liked this. It smelled really good. It didn't make my face break out. It lasted me a long time. Um, this is only, this is less than an ounce, but it still lasted me like six months. So I'm definitely going to be looking to pick up the new formulation of this when it comes out, so I'm actually excited about that. Then I've got the Jopa Minerals Light Number no. 1 Soft Coverage Foundation. I finished this a while ago. Um, I have since switched to the Fair Number no. 1, which is my shade. It's a little bit lighter. Um, I'm, I have a refill of the Soft Coverage Fair Number no. 1 packet, um, so I'm going to clean out this jar and then switch. I'm going to dump that packet into here, so I'm going to keep this. But I love the Jopa Minerals Foundation. I've talked about it I don't even know how many times at this point, but it's my favorite foundation. I use it all the time. It's great for oily skin. It's just amazing. If you haven't tried it yet, do yourself a favor and pick it up. So then, since we're talking about foundations, I've also got two of the Honey Bee Gardens Pressed Powder Supernatural foundations. I completely use these up. These don't even have like little crumbs in them because I transferred those to a different jar and just broke them up. And you, I use them like mineral powder. I have one more pan of the Supernatural, and then I also bought a pan of the Avignon powder, but it, I don't, I don't know about it. I made another video, I made another video about Honeybee Gardens and some customer service stuff. I've been sitting on it, I really want to post it, but I, I'm sit, I'm debating. Um, let me know if you want it, if you, I don't know. I, I've got two of these, I don't know why I'm talking about that. I've got 
two of these foundations. I love the foundation, but I'm having some issues with them as a company right now. So there's those. Um, I've also got the Earth Diva Cosmetics Rose Petal Setting Powder. This was the trial that the company sent me. They sent me a sample of it. I really liked it, so I bought a full size. Really loved it, finished it, bought two more that I'm still using. So I love this setting powder. It's my favorite setting powder. I use this before I put any makeup on. So I'll put my sunscreen on, then I'll put this setting powder on to sort of set the sunscreen because otherwise it can be tacky. And then I put my foundation on. So I will continue to buy this setting powder because I love it. Then I've got two mascaras. The first one is the Afterglow Pure Soul Mascara in Mink, which is just the dark brown. I loved this mascara. It lasted me a really long time. I'll admit that I used this for about seven months until it got to the point where there was like nothing in here and then it, it started to slightly irritate my eyes so I stopped at about seven months but I don't use mascara every day so mascara lasts me a long time and I just feel really wasteful throwing it out after like three months so um, I used this for a long time unfortunately it's got beeswax so I'm not gonna be rebuying it but I really did love this formula um, if you um, don't have a problem using beeswax and you're looking for a good mascara definitely try the Afterglow Cosmetics one but I won't be buying that again and then another one I won't be rebuying is the Honey Bee Gardens Truly Natural Mascara. This one was in chocolate, chocolate truffle, so this is their their brown shade. I think they've got a dark brown shade and then they've got a brown shade. Um, this I liked it at first, like it was a good consistency when I first used it, and it was I got a really good use out of it for the first month, and then it started to get really like goopy and stringy. Like I don't know, you can probably see some of the little like strands. Maybe if I do it like here where my face is. I don't know. It got really goopy and I barely even used probably like a quarter of this tube or maybe at least half, but it got really goopy and nasty. I only got a month's worth of use out of this and then I had to get rid of it because it just got nasty. So unfortunately, I didn't get very much use out of this and this is $11. So I won't be rebuying this again, which is too bad because I did like it in the beginning. Okay, and finally, the one that I've got the most empties in, which is, this is all skincare. All skincare. Skincare. Let me just talk about for a minute how hard it is to get red lipstick on your lips. Like, I love this lipstick. Like, this lip lipstick looks great, and... Um, a lot of you guys actually this was your favorite color on me when I posted my red apple lipstick video But this is so hard to apply correctly like it's took me 10 minutes to get this on my face like I Had to keep like cleaning up edges and like putting foundation in places where this This lipstick had like gotten where I didn't want it to be and I don't I still don't even know if it's perfect But it just it's so hard to get on my face uh, And then my hair I put my hair in like tiny little braids last night because I wanted it to be like super small curl, well not like super small, but smaller curls than when I do like one braid. But then it turned out sort of like I crimped it. Like it looks like I crimped my hair, which is not a look that I was going for. So I tried to do something with it. So I put like this, I put like, um, like a twisty thing in my hair and then I bobby pinned this part back and just left this part out. But ah, uh, nothing's going my way today. And then I've got like, weird things on my shoulders because of where my hanger was it's just a mess and there's somebody sitting at my stop sign like a creep drive away drive away <sighs> anyway okay so <sighs> you yeah, see right here it looks a little little off I'll get, I'll, I'll figure out how to apply it correctly eventually, but I mean, cause this is bright. I mean, it's going to take me, it took, it's going to take a lot of work, but okay. So I'm just going to pull these things out in no specific order. This is the Desert Essence Thoroughly Clean Face Wash, the original for oily and combination skin formula. I love this, um, this face wash. This is just the refill. We had originally bought the pump bottle. The pump broke pretty soon after we bought it. So we bought the um, refill size and just filled up little bottles to just pour out in our hands. This says it's got a shelf life of nine months, but we used it way longer than that because it's just me and my husband. 
Um, he never, he doesn't use this anymore, but I use this to remove my makeup. So I bought another pump bottle, and the pump on that one is better than the one that they used to have on the bottles. So once I finish with that, I'm going to buy another one of the, well, I might actually just keep buying the pump bottles of those because I'm only one person, and it, I, there's no way I could get through this in like a year just by myself. But I use this to remove my makeup. Um, it's made with, it's got coconut oil in it and castile soap. Um, those are the main um, ingredients in there that break down the makeup. But this does a really good job of getting off makeup, especially like mascara, it gets it off. I don't know about waterproof makeup because I don't wear waterproof makeup, but I really love this. And I'm going to keep buying this stuff to um, remove my makeup. I'm not... I don't really like the oil cleansing method, but I like oil-based cleansers to remove my makeup, if that makes any sense. So, I love this stuff. I've also got the YS Organic Bee Farms 100% Certified Organic Raw Honey. I bought this in March to use in my shower as a face wash in the mornings before I decided I was going to stop using beeswax and honey. I didn't notice a huge difference in my skin when I used this. I mean, it didn't make my skin worse, but I didn't really feel like it made my skin any better. Um, and I heard a lot of people talking about how raw honey really helps their acne and stuff like that, but honestly I didn't notice a difference. Um, maybe if I use the Manuka honey, but that is expensive and I'm not going to be buying the Manuka honey to try as a face wash. It's like $40 for a, like three times the, like less the size of this, so. So then next I've got a bunch of these. I've got the 365 Organic Cotton Cotton Rounds from Whole Foods. I've got three of these, but I've gone through a bunch. These are my favorite cotton rounds. I tried a couple of others that I thought I had saved the packaging to, but I guess I didn't. From whole, um, from iHerb, they were another kind of organic cotton rounds, but I didn't like them at all. I love, I like these ones a lot better. They don't leave, um, they don't like dissolve on my face, and they're thick enough that I can, you know, use one side and then flip it over and use the other side, and it's, it doesn't break down on me. So. I really do like those cotton rounds. I think I would like to look into um, the reusable cotton rounds this year maybe, um, but for now I'm just using those and those are my favorite cotton rounds. So then I've got the Earth Science Aloe Vera Complexion Toner and Fresher. This is an alcohol-free toner for dry sensitive skin. I've been using the Earth Science stuff for a while. I thought I might have a face wash in here, but I don't. Um, I had used the Earth Science stuff for a while. Um, I used a couple of their different cleansers, and then I used this toner for a couple of years, but um, I like the Thayer's toner better. This isn't like a bad toner by any means, but it's just not, it's not the most natural. It's got a couple of things in here. Oh, it actually has retinal palmitate, which I didn't know anything about when I used this. Um, but now I know that you don't want to use this if you're going out in the sun or whatever, but it's an okay toner, but I wouldn't buy it again. So then here is the other toner. This is the Thayer's Astringent Peach Witch Hazel with Aloe Vera Formula. I liked this. I had bought this originally to remove my makeup, but I found that I was using this too quickly and it didn't remove my makeup as well as I would have liked it to. So I've switched to the, um, the soap to remove my makeup or the cleanser to remove my makeup. And then I just use toner now to, after I've cleansed, I just run some toner on a cotton pad over my whole face just to make sure that all the makeup is off and that my skin is toned and all that. So I, d I liked this one. That I like the smell a lot, but I like the alcohol-free formula better. So I won't be buying the astringent formula, but I'll keep buying the alcohol-free formula. Whew, it's like hard to sit here for this long. Okay, so then I've got a couple of cleansers. Okay, so then I've got a couple of cleansers. I'll start with the Alba Botanical. Alba Botanica uh, Natural Hawaiian Facial Cleanser Pore Purifying Pineapple Enzyme. I used this cleanser for a while before I went fully natural. I mean, this is natural. It's got some good ingredients in it. And I like the smell of this, but I like other cleansers better. And I sort of like to switch it up with my cleansers because I feel like that's one... Um, one skincare item that I don't need to stick to for my skin to do well. So I, I feel like I can use different cleansers and get, you know, the same results with each one. So I like to switch it up. So this was a nice one. Um, maybe at some point I'll rebuy it again in the future, but I'm not planning on it anytime soon. And I didn't necessarily feel like it did any pore purifying. Like my pores didn't feel any cleaner or smaller or anything like that. So then after I finished that, I used the Dr. Woods Naturals Black Soap Facial Cleanser for all skin types, antioxidant formula with shea butter. I did really like this. Um, it was a good soap. This one is definitely more natural than the Alba Botanica ones. Um, 
I really like this. I would I would buy it again. I'm using I use this to remove my makeup and then um, after that I use a different cleanser from Andalou to uh, like really clean my skin which is what I, I do. I do a double cleanse. I do this cleanser and then I do a foaming cleanser. So I like this cleanser. I might I'll, I probably will go back to this one at some point but I've got a lot that I want to try until I do that until I start you know repeating. So this one I actually like. Um, I did my sister did try one with the tea tree and she liked that one too. There was two different formulas but I tried this one. So this is a good cleanser. I recommend this cleanser. So then I've also got the Jopa Minerals Blemish Bar for face and body. I've got, this is the first one that I finished. I finished one. I've still got three that I need to use. I use these. So what I like to do with this is I will use my Sala skincare salt scrub um, one day and then the next day I'll use the soap and then I'll use another scrub. So I, I alternate this on different days. So I've got a bunch of bars that I still need to go through but I like this face wash. I don't necessarily think it does anything special in regards to um, fighting acne and clearing your skin and stuff like that but it's a gentle cleanser. It's effective. You know, it doesn't make my skin feel, it doesn't make my skin feel dry and tight. So. I like this soap and I'll keep using it until I'm done. And then I might or might not buy more once I'm done with them. We'll just have to wait and see once I finish all three bars. It might take a while. So then one scrub that I do love to use is the Acure Brightening Facial Scrub. Um, I've got another one of these in my shower already. This is my favorite scrub. It's not necessarily for acne, but it is really good for brightening your skin. It makes my skin... It does make my skin look brighter and less red and patchy after I've used it. Um, so I like to use this either every other day or every other other day. So like I'll use another scrub. I like because I exfoliate every single day, but I alternate what scrubs I use. So this is one that I like to use a couple of times a week. This one is a really good one, and I will continue to buy this. I've got two of the all natural face face foods in strawberries and cream. This is my favorite flavor of the face foods. I've got a bananas and a papayas too, but I like the strawberry one the best. So I went through two of these one size jars or these one ounce jars and I bought a two ounce jar which has lasted me a little bit because I don't use it as often as I was using them. But I like to use these as before shower facial masks. So I'll put this on like 15 minutes before I'm about to get in the shower just to give my skin sort of like another boost of exfoliation and um, it sort of acts as like a like a really gentle peel because it's got the um, strawberries have like natural salicylic acid in it. So I really like these. I will keep buying the strawberries and cream one. I don't think I'm going to venture out and try any others unless I receive them for some reason. But the strawberries and cream one is my favorite. And then from the All Natural Face, I've also got the French Green Clay Mask. I got this in one of their subscription boxes and I did not like this at all. For some reason, this French Green Clay just by itself, like... My skin didn't really like it. it did, I didn't like the consistency of it. I felt like I had to use a lot to get one mask. Can you guys? <clears throat> so I won't buy this again, um, but I, there is one of their other mask clays that I do want to try, but not for a long time because I've got a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. So we'll just finish with the All Natural Face since we're talking about them. I've got two toners. The Organic tea tree hydrosol toner, which I got in one of my boxes, and the non-alcohol toner for acne and oily skin. This one has sort of like, this is the tea tree one, has sort of like a cooling effect when it goes onto your skin. But I didn't really feel like it did that much. This one I didn't feel anything. This was the act for, uh, toner for acne and oily skin. I wouldn't buy, I wouldn't go out of my way to buy either of these ones again, but um, I just didn't feel like they did anything for my skin necessarily in any way other than just, you know, like an extra cleanse, I guess. I've got one other toner. This is the Acure Facial Toner Balancing Rose and Red Tea. Um, I liked this. It's a two ounce bottle. I thought it was going to take me, I, I thought I was gonna go through this really fast because it's so small, but it actually lasted me about five months. And I did like this toner. I don't, I've, I haven't used it in about two months since I finished it. But I, and I don't necessarily feel that this did anything to my skin that was super special because I don't feel like my skin is any different than when I was using it. So I might buy this again in the future just because I did like it, but I don't think it does anything for me specifically. And it is a little bit expensive, 
so I mean it's up in the air whether or not I would try it again but I mean it's a good toner I just don't think it it natural it necessarily did anything to help my oily skin or anything like that so and then I guess I kind of use these as toners. This, these are the Heritage Store Rose Petals Rose Water Spray. I've got the small four ounce one and then I've got the eight ounce one. For some reason, I didn't get the eight ounce one originally. I got the four ounce one thinking, well, I might or might not like it. And then I loved it. And so then I immediately had to go out and buy the big one. So I went through both of these. I love this rose water spray. I spray it on my face before I put my serums on. I spray it before I put a mask on. I use this to set my makeup. I use this for everything and it just, the scent doesn't linger for very long. You spray it and a couple of seconds later it's pretty much gone. But I mean, it, it feels nice as you're spraying it. And definitely in the summer, like if you keep this in your fridge or something like that and then spray it on your face, it just is like a cool mist and refresher. I love this. I will keep buying this. It's my favorite spray other than the George's Aloe. So I love those sprays. So now for some moisturizers. I've got these two from Alba Botanica. I used a lot of Alba Botanica before I went completely natural which is why there are so many things from Alba in here. Um, so this is the Refining Aloe and Green Tea Oil-Free Moisturizer, which I used during the day, and then the Soothing Jasmine and Vitamin E Moisture Cream, which I used at night. I did like these. Um, I felt like they worked for me for a really long time. I think I used them for probably like two years, because before that I used Clinique. So once I stopped using Clinique, I switched to the Alba Botanica, which worked for a little while. I used these for roughly two years, and then I felt like as I was nearing the end of these jars that they just weren't doing it for me anymore. Um, so, I mean, these were nice, and I used them for a long time, so I did like them, but I just, I won't buy these again just because I don't feel like they're right for my skin anymore. I found a lot of things that work better for my skin now than these did, so these were nice, but I won't be buying these again. And then another moisturizer I've got is this Green People Anti-Aging 24 Hour Cream in the Neutral scent, scent for Sensitive Skin. I hated using this. Hated it. It didn't smell good. It's supposed to be, you know, like a neutral scent, but it smelled like almonds to me or something. I didn't like using it. It didn't make my skin feel good, it didn't make it feel moisturized, it felt it feel like slick and greasy. Um, it's only, it's 1.6 fluid ounces. I was actually able to get through this in a pretty reasonable amount of time, which surprised me because I thought it was going to take me months to go through this, but I think I used this in about a month and a half or two months. I did not like it, I would never buy this again. I didn't buy this originally, I got this in a box that then was discontinued right after I got this, so I wouldn't buy this again and I don't recommend it. So then I've also got these two Exuberance is Beauty Neroli Oil Firming Facial Serum and then Wild Blueberry Intensive Day and Night Cream. I got these from Afterglow Cosmetics on accident last Black Friday. They accidentally sent me somebody else's package. So they told me to keep it and they would resend me all of my stuff. So these two were in it. So this was my first experience with a serum. I don't think my skin liked this serum. It broke out pretty much like every time I tried to use this. I would use it for a couple of days, notice I broke out like crazy, and then I would stop for a couple of weeks until it went away. I used it again, broke out again, and then I finally just pushed through and finished it because I didn't want to waste it. I mean, this stuff is expensive. It was like $50, so I didn't want to waste it, but I would never buy this again. I just did not like the serum at all. I, it, it, I didn't feel like it firmed my skin. Maybe I just don't need a lot of firming at this point in my life, but I just didn't feel like it did anything except break me out. Um, this moisturizer, on the other hand, was nice. It did smell really good. And it was very, um, it was very hydrating. I like to use it at night because I tend to need more moisture at night than I do during the day. Um, but this was really good. I did really like this moisturizer. I wouldn't buy it again because it's $50 and it's only two ounces. And I can get a lot of other comparable moisturizers for way less than that. Um, and there are oils that I like a lot better than moisturizers in particular. So I wouldn't buy this again. It was nice while I used it, but just wouldn't buy it again. So and then speaking of oils, I've got the Moon number one nighttime dream youth serum. This was just the trial size. I went through one, I refilled it, my cat broke it, and then I got like two uses out of it. So my sample is finally done. Like the sample size 2B I had is finally done. So there's that. I have bought the full size of this. I really love this oil. It's freaking expensive, but it my skin loves it, so it's worth it to me. I don't use it every day because I use it more as like a facial treat, so when I do a face mask, I will use this oil, but I don't use it every day. I wish I could. So then I've also got this Odesite Pure Elements um, Facial Serum Concentrate. This one was the apricot and 
Palma Rosa for fragile capillaries. I got this as a sample from the detox market when I bought my moon serum and I hadn't heard of this brand before they sent me the sample so I do like that they sent me the sample so now I know about the other concentrates that they've got. There's a whole list of all of them on this one. Um, there's for oily combo skin, devitalized skin, sensitive skin, firmness, hydration, elasticity, anti-aging. So they've got different um, specific skin problems where they have different concentrates for them. So I do want to try a lot of these at some point. I haven't bought any and I might not for a long time because I'm trying to go through a lot of my stuff. But um, I didn't feel like this one necessarily did anything for me. I used it in combination with the face oil that I use. I mixed a couple of drops in with my face oil. Um, I didn't necessarily, I don't, I, maybe I don't have fragile capillaries, but I didn't feel like this did anything, but I mean it smelled nice, it made my oil smell like extra nice, so I will be trying out some of these serum concentrates in the future, um, just not this specific one. So then I've also got two Clarisonic brush heads, I went through four this year, but I've only saved two for some reason. The sensitive skin one is the one that I use the most often, and then um, I also have the acne cleansing one, which is pretty much almost exactly like the sensitive skin one. It is the same, um, the brush head is the same sensitive bristles, but I think it's got more, it's got more of these like green bristles than this one has like black bristles, so it's just extra pore cleaning or something. I like the acne cleansing one better, um, but I do like the sensitive one, so um, I'm debating right now whether I want to try the Konjac sponge or keep using my Clarisonic next year. I might just, I might switch, like I might do Clarisonic for three months and then a Konjac sponge for three months because I do really want to try the Konjac sponges. Uh, but right now I'm using the last of the Clarisonic brush heads that I've got so I need to make a decision pretty quickly. So then I've got the last of this juicy bamboo natural cleansing cloth, I talked about this already, I hate it, we'll never buy those. And then I've got one of these LaFresh Eco Beauty Oil Free Face Cleansers. I talked about this in a video I recorded already that isn't going to go out for quite a while, so these look odd to you, but um, I'll talk about these at a later point, but I did, I used this last night and actually did like it. So, and the last two things I've got, I thank God because my voice hurts from talking and I'm hungry, um, I've got the Resist C15 Super Booster from Paula's Choice, um, this is the 15% Vitamin C Serum, I like this, I'm... I'm wondering now if my skin has changed since I stopped using this the first time because I've got a second bottle that I just opened up to try to start using again and my skin isn't taking to it as well as it did when I was using it so my skin might have changed a little bit since I started using this the first time so I, I, I really loved it when I was using this bottle but my skin is having an issue with it right now so I, I do like this so if you're looking for a vitamin C serum I definitely do recommend this um, but yeah, I'll have to let you know how my second bottle goes because I'm having issues with that. And then I like to mix that with the Andalou Naturals 1000, 1000 Roses Absolute Serum for Sensitive Skin. I like this serum. It's pretty much basically like water because once you put it in your fingers, it pretty much like dissolves immediately and turns basically into water. So it's a nice neutral serum that you can mix other stuff in with. So I like to mix um, my three drops of this in with this. And I went through this pretty fast, I, and this is expensive too, I mean this is a one ounce bottle, it's $25, and it took me about a month to go through this using it in the morning and in the evening just because of the consistency of it. I did buy a second bottle and I'm almost done using it, but I won't be buying it again for a little while because I do want to try mixing um, that Paula's Choice in with other moisturizer stuff and see if maybe it is just the serum or something. But I do like this serum, I recommend it if you are looking for just sort of like a neutral serum to mix other things in with, or if you're new to serums and you don't necessarily know um, how they will work for you, I definitely recommend this one because it's it's pretty basic, it's good for all skin types because it's sensitive, and I, I did like it, I like the smell, but... So I've got a second one of those that you'll see in another empties video, I don't know, at some point, but I do like it, and I won't be rebuying that right now, but I do like it, so that was... Oh, no. So that was all of my empties. That was 13 months of empties. And I probably talked for nearly 40 to 45 minutes. Um, I am hungry now. And now I, the debate will be, do I want to eat lunch or keep my lipstick? 
That sounds so stupid, but I like my lipstick. I don't want to eat, but um, anyway. So that was 13 months of empties. It definitely won't be another 13 months before I do one of these. I think I'm going to try to do like bi-monthly empties. I don't want to do them every month because I don't, honestly, I don't go through stuff that fast. It seems like it because I got a lot of crap here, um, but this is over a long time. Um, but I don't go through stuff terribly fast, so I don't know, maybe once I've got like half a bag full of empties or something like that, I might do another one of these just to keep them shorter. So, um, I'm not going to be listing these products down below because honestly there's a crap ton of them and that would just take way too much time. But if you've got any questions about any of the specific products that I talked about, if you want to know more about something, um, definitely let me know and I will help you. I will, you know, I will give you more of an explanation of something if I didn't give enough of one here. And I am done talking now, so I will see you in my next video. Bye.